Hello, I'm Charlie Borman and I'm here in the Surrey Hills and I'm so excited and have been waiting for so long to uh, ride this Desert X Ducati. It's their brand new um, adventure motorcycle and doesn't she just look beautiful? Ever since I saw this bike in concept, it was a little while ago, I think they were, they were gonna do it as an air-cooled bike, but now it's a, it's a, it's a water-cooled bike. Oh, listen to that. It's a water-cooled bike now, um, and it's basically um, designed on the Multistrada engine. But what's interesting about this thing is that they've taken the engine, but they've completely redone the chassis, so everything else is new to make it this, this extraordinary-looking bike. And one of the great things about it, obviously the style, and I tell you what it does do for me is it brings memories, really big, strong memories for me when I did the Dakar Rally. It really has a, a Dakar feel to the whole thing. Um, and it's that ode to the 19, sort of 70s, 80s, 90s feel to the whole thing, that retro look. Um, and one of the best things about it as well is it has a 21 inch rim, which makes it a really good handling bike on the road and especially off the road. Now, you would think that this bike, uh, when they built it would be you know more prominently road and 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 uh, and that it it's an afterthought was 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 off-road but that is completely wrong they have really really thought about this bike and they've really thought about it to be to be an incredibly performing bike on the road it really does handle well on the road but it really handles incredibly well off-road as well and with a market that is so drenched in this category which is the, the sort of the dual bike the can't think what you call it now the big off-road bike or the or the big mark what do you call these bikes adventure, adventure bikes oh that's a secret friend who's going to come and join us in a minute um so but this adventure market is really really saturated so it's going to be a big thing for for uh for ducati to get into that into that area but this bike i think is um is going to get us there 110 brake horsepower that's all important. Um, the rest of it, I don't know. You have to look it up on the internet and look at all the Newton meters and all that stuff. Okay, I just want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the setup of this bike. So obviously it's designed to be, to be a really good bike off-road and a really good bike on-road. Now we all know that Ducati uh, are brilliant with their sports bikes, their Multistradas, they're, they're, they're really good and their traction control and all their different settings are really good. But on this bike, they've done an amazing job. They've made this bike ride incredibly well on road and it really gives you confidence. You can go in that in your different touring mode or your sport mode or, or rain mode, whatever you want. And it, and it really does make a difference. And they've really concentrated heavily on off-road as well. And all their, all their settings really show that as well. So, Basically what they have, they have an, an urban setting, they have a touring setting, a wet, enduro, enduro rally, and a sport. So, um, and what's really nice about this is that you don't have to mess around with all the different settings and get a setting that you like. When you put it onto, onto urban, it brings the power down, it makes it a nice easy ride through the, through the town. And then if you want a little bit more on the open roads, you go to touring, that stiffens it up all up a little bit more, makes it a bit more aggressive. The wet obviously, tones everything down but the really nice thing what I love about this bike is the enduro now the enduro gives you a real balance of, of traction control wheelie control um, it gives you a little bit of everything um, but then if you want to go a little bit more crazy and do a bit more hardcore stuff you stick it onto rally and that tones everything down and makes you able to do whatever you want and what's really nice about the balance of it when you're riding along you can uh, really feel where you're going and you can move the bike to wherever you wanted to go. So if you see a little bump on the dirt road, you can scoot over there and give it a little blip and up in the air you are. And it's very confidence building. So, um, so they're, it's a really good feature of this bike and they really work. So just nice little features. Obviously, I'm looking at the styling of the bike now and, and I, I just love that Dakar look and, and they've really done, it almost looks like the old fashioned Lucky Strike um, Dakar bikes. If you look at them on the, the internet, you'll 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 see that that sort of 70s, 80s look, and they've done that really well. They've got some wonderful Brembo brakes, double discs on the front, Brembo on the back. Um, 
The riding position is really nice. There's loads of extras coming. They've got hard panniers, soft panniers. They've got this really nice little feature that they can put two little fuel tanks on the back and that gives you another eight liters. So, uh, so you can do some nice long rides. So I can, all I can see with this in the next couple of generations is, um, is better and better and better. So you're probably wondering while I've been chatting why there's two bikes. Well, I've been so excited about riding this bike and, and I think the whole the whole of the motorcycle world has been excited about riding these bikes and that um but a friend of mine a great friend of mine um Mark Richardson from from Skunk and Nancy he's the drummer uh he got one before me which which actually irritated me quite a lot actually and he's been lording it up with me so anyway I thought who better than to bring along for this little test ride than Mark who already has one so Mark come in Hello. dude how are you good Good. How was your tour? You just come off the tour, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just still catching up on my sleep, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. It was and, really and good. And how was now that you're a really old man? How yeah. how, how the how the shoulders and, 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 and elbows? You know, has, there's a certain amount of maintenance that has to go on daily, <laughs> but you know, it's it's all right. Yeah. It's I, still... I saw. I was I was following the. It was a big tour. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, yeah, wow. Yeah. Hundred you know. hundred days all over Europe, and um, yeah, it was just nice to get back to it after the pandemic, really. Yeah. So. But we were one of the first sort of UK bands to go out and do a full U uh, European tour. Yeah, these bikes. I mean, I, yes. mean I, I, I remember when you came and loaded it up at my house. You yeah. came and said, "Oh, look what I've got, Charlie!" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was so I couldn't believe because I'd seen them. Um, uh, I'd, I'd seen it at the, at the London bike show, I think. And, yeah. And I, was, I thought, wow, wow. Yeah. You know, it's very, very similar to that prototype that they mm. had at the show, isn't it? Um, it's not, not many differences. I think the the back end is quite is quite different, yeah. but. I mean, I just saw it and fell in love. Yeah. I fell in love with it for the similar reasons um, that you did. You know, that sort of 80s, 70s, 80s Dakar styling, um, which is what I fell in love with mm. and was the reason I you know, wanted to do the Dakar rally. Not that I ever did, but... Um, <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Unlike someone five days, else. <laughs> five days. <laughs> then I broke my hands. But um, uh, yeah, but, but so, so listen, you've had it. What now? What uh, you've done? Six hundred miles or so on it? Yeah, yeah. So it's still re really new. It's got a little bit of muck on it, which I'm a bit disappointed with. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's still a precious toy. <laughs> it's isn't still it? a it's precious still, toy, it, right? It now. still smells of new of new vehicles, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but, but I mean, uh, have you have you felt it? I mean, is it is it everything that you thought it would be when you were riding it? Oh, loads more. Loads yeah. more. You just think, well, when you get on a bike like this, you think, well, it's going to be one or the other. It's going to be great on the road or it's going to be great off road. Mm. And actually having taken it on the trails, it's, it's equally as good. Mm. I mean, nothing like the, vid, you know, the, the uh, Ducati videos where they're going through the <laughs> desert or anything <laughs> like that. But, you know, it's, it's really, really well balanced. Mm. It's beautiful and really stable on roads, dirt roads, gravel roads, through a bit of mud than it is as it is on the road. Yeah. So it's really nice. And having sort of grown up with trials bikes and dirt bikes and all that kind of stuff, it's the styling of it is, is beautiful. And yeah. you know, I just think it's it, exactly the sort of thing that um, I want to pay for, you know, because yeah. these, these things aren't cheap these days, you know, and, and you've, I've, got to be in love with it to want to pay all that money for it yeah. so and so, so, so they come out at about they come out at about fourteen thousand pounds i suppose yeah i think is this it, this was fourteen to fourteen two and, and and is this is this the sort of it's i'm guessing this is the one with all the bells and whistles apart from the petrol tanks so uh, yeah i didn't get the petrol tank because i didn't think that i'll be needing it just mm. now um but i do i do like a slightly louder pipe so i got the termignoni pipe Ooh, um, yeah. I mean, then uh, it's a nice pipe, isn't it? It's a lovely, it's a lovely low grunt. Yeah, um, I got the heated grips and the tank protector, and that that was it really. I didn't, you know, if I if I find I these feel ugly to me in in due course, I can get the the skinnier, thinner ones or yeah. whatever. There's loads and loads of after aftermarket bits. But there's going to be buy. tons coming, isn't there? I mean, yeah. You can imagine they've got soft bags coming. I think they've yeah. got they've already got the hard bags coming or, or here already. Yeah, they're, they're here so, already. Yeah, so and you can buy all of that, and it just bolts on. I was riding it. Um, yesterday and I, I spent the day on it and, and I did a bit of dirt and I did a bit of a bit of everything and and it was one of those ones I was riding along thinking oh no what can I sell to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to get this it's the first yeah. time I've really I've sat there thinking oh I might get you know 
yeah, I, I might get rid of something and get one of these because I, I really do get the feeling that, that this this really is something you want to jump on every day and just yeah. you know you know you think it's my wife said to me or I think you did you say to me that your wife said oh we run out of milk and you go oh I'll I'll go get it <laughs> and on exactly. the bike <laughs> yeah yeah I'm I'm literally any chance I can get I yeah. want to get on it and get down the road um, I've had to be a little bit conservative because it's due for its service but. Uh, <laughs> Once it's had that, I'm just going to be all over the place. Over the I'm place. going up to Yorkshire next week um, yep. to help my brother-in-law with his roof. So um, I'll be going on this and uh, taking a tent and I'm just going to come back through uh, Wales. And, oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, th there's a really great website you should go to, um, which is called uh, uh, ACT, Adventure Country Tracks. Okay. And, um, and I, I just did it about six weeks ago. Um, I went through and, and there's all the you can download these 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 routes which which are all yeah. single track roads oh, and dirt, dirt roads as well and and it's all it's all marked out for you. Well, that'd be good. Yeah. Come back via you know dirt yeah. tracks all dirt the way tracks. home. Yeah, you would, <laughs> from it's, all, it's all sing, single track um, tarmac and 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 dirt. So yeah. it's like twenty percent dirt and and the rest Great. tarmac. That the roads you would never find. Amazing. So. That yeah. sounds fantastic. Well, I suppose what we need to do now is ride them a little bit and and. Uh, and see what That'd it's be like. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. I have to say, riding this bike gives you a real sense of, of, of security. It, it makes you feel confident in, in your riding. I think it makes you a slightly better rider than you actually are. You know, going off road on the slippy gravel and stuff, it really, really helps. And the, the, the settings, you know, from, from sport to rally to off-road to, to urban, they, they all make a difference and they really work. I have to say, I have, I have really enjoyed riding this bike. I somehow get the feeling I just don't want to give it back. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to give it back. This is a bike to ride, a bike to own, I think. Woo! All right, whoa! Okay, well, I have to say, we've been having the most fantastic fun on, on these beautiful, these beautiful Ducatis. I mean, they really do everything that we thought they Amazing, would, haven't absolutely they? Absolutely brilliant. So much fun. So, um, so all that's left to say is this, and thank you for watching. If you want to watch some more, go to a YouTube channel and do all the usual stuff, press all the usual buttons, etc., 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 and have a good time. So, Mark, thank you for, for joining me. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later.